Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Let us give God thanks for bringing us to another Lord's Day. A day of thanksgiving and praise. A day that is set aside to lift up His holy name. Let us thank Him for bringing us through the past week and presenting us to a brand new week where He will do His work in and through us. Let us pray that we will stay focused and patient as we go through the rest of this time of lockdown. God's healing power will be among us. Amen. St. John's Gospel, chapter 14, and verse 26 says, But the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Blessed be the Lord our God, by whose grace we are yet alive. Blessed be his Son, Jesus Christ, by whose rising we are set free. Blessed be the Spirit of God, in whom is our hope and our joy. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. The Jubilate. O oh, shout to the Lord and triumph all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his face with songs of joy. Know that the Lord, he is God. It is he who have made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Come into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his holy name. For the Lord is good. His loving kindness is forever. His faithfulness throughout all generations. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Lord, we pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The proper Psalm, Psalm 67. May God be gracious to us and bless us and make his face to shine upon us that thy ways may be known upon the earth thy saving power among all nations. Let the peoples praise thee, O Lord. Let all the peoples praise thee. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy, for thou dost judge the peoples with equity, and guide the nations upon the earth. Let the peoples praise thee, O God, let all the peoples praise thee. The earth has yielded his increase. God, our God, has blessed us. God has blessed us. Let all the ends of the earth fear him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. He begins the first verse of the 56th chapter. 
of the book of Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Keep judge justice and do righteousness, for soon my salvation will come and my deliverance be revealed. The foreigners who journey themselves to the Lord, to minister to him and to love the name of the Lord, and to be his servants, every one who keeps the Sabbath, and does not profound it, and holds fast my covenant, those I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offering and their sacrifice will be acceptable on my altar. For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. Thus says the Lord God, who gathered the outcasts of Israel, I will gather yet others to him besides those already gathered. The word of the Lord. The Benedictus. Blessed are you, Lord, the God of Israel. You have come to your people and set them free. You have raised up for us a mighty Savior born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophet, you promise of all to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our forebears, and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous before you all the days of our life. A new child shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare the way by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine upon those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our second lesson comes from St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter 15, and reading from verse 21. Jesus went from there and withdrew to the district of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman from the region came out and cried, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely possessed by a demon. But he did not answer her a word. And his disciples came and begged him, saying, Send her away. For she is crying after us. He answered, I will send only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. And Jesus answered, It is not fair to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord. Yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered her, O woman, great is your faith. Be it done for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed immediately. The word of the Lord. the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. 
he suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation, grant peace within and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom, endow your church with faithfulness, and our servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us your will may be known. The collect for today, Almighty God, you have given your only Son to be for us a sacrifice for sin and also an example of godly life. Give us grace to receive thankfully the fruits of his redeeming work and to follow daily in the blessed steps of his most holy life. We ask this through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, the love of unity and the honor of peace, to know you is eternal life, to serve you is perfect freedom, defend your servants from all assaults of the enemy, that we may trust in your defense and not fear the power of any adversary. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Into your hands, Lord, we commend ourselves this day. Let your presence be with us to its close. Strengthen us to remember that in whatever good work we do, we are serving you. Give us a diligent and watchful spirit that we may seek in everything to know your will and knowing it, may gladly perform it to the honor and glory of your name through jesus christ our lord amen the prayer of dedication almighty god we thank you for the gift of your holy word may it be a lantern to our feet and a light to our hearts a strength to our lives take us and use us to love all persons in the power of the holy spirit and in the name of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than we can ask or conceive, by the power which is at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks.